how do you focus on what to do mm. because you got the tv yeah. i'm sure you got to prepare and work on that because that's your full-time nine to that's five that's a priority but yeah. yet you yeah. also mm -hmm. but yet also you got all these other interests yeah you know what i'm saying and then you got kids yeah and you want to be a dad you gotta of be a course. husband yeah you know like so that's that's a lot of it time is. to okay i got job i got work but my creative side and this and that and i yeah. gotta be a parent and sports and uh basketball games and like what what am i doing like yeah. how do you manage all that I, i'm doing a better job of managing it now when i first moved out to new york um about seven eight years ago now um did a terrible job at managing it i couldn't i i i said yes to everything because i was like man it's it's my opportunity to show you how versatile i am i'm saying yes to everything and i wasn't getting paid a ton to do it but i knew if i got the reps and i got the exposure eventually i'll get to a point where I can say no to things. Um, but because I did know how to manage being a husband, a father, a coach, juggling multiple jobs. Like I remember one day waking up and like little patches were missing in my beard. And I'm like, damn, am I using the wrong like facial soap or lotion or something? <laughs> and then before you knew it, big patches were gone. And then my entire beard was gone. But bald naked. And you know, black man with no mustache, no beard. You can't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> but mine's butt naked all the way around though so um i remember going to a dermatologist and it um it, it, yeah it started as her just diagnosing me and then it turned into a therapy session she's like all right you have alopecia due to stress your body's reacting and this is its way of fighting oh wow and now i'm like okay that's weird she's like do you have history of alopecia like nope so run the family nope and then she's like well what's different in your life i'm like oh man um start a new job you know, I used to play. I used to play. <laughs> that breath of you. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're waiting, waiting for somebody. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. we're waiting. Wait. Hey, deep exhale. Uh, yeah. I, I, think, I think I kicked my I feet up on the couch job. and everything. I got a new job. Yeah, I got a new job. <laughs> I'm waking up at 4 a.m. and she's just kind of listening. And, I, and I'm like, I used to have another job and I used to wake up at, you know, seven or eight. And she didn't understand football. She's like, oh, I don't. I don't really follow football. I'm like, well, waking up at 4 a.m. is one thing. Moving to the East Coast is another thing. But also, this job, I just really want to be good at it, man. And she's like, oh, well, that's it. Like, you're, you're stressed out because of your job. You're, you're worrying and you're not embracing, you know, how much this means to you. And I was like, no, 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 I'm not stressed. And, you know, now my, my ego's kicking you're in. You're defensive. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not stressed. What, what, what are you talking about? And I'm like, no, nah, my old job, I used to have these, these linebackers and safeties that used to try to, like, break me in half. Like, that was stressful. And I'm, like, smiling as I'm telling her that part. And she's like, no, like, look at the joy when you talk about football. That didn't stress you out. It might have been difficult, but you loved it. This new job, when you start talking about that, you weren't smiling. Mm. And she was like, you have to figure out how to balance your energy. And if you do a better job doing that, your beard will come back. And sure enough, I did. I started to focus and just be a little bit more strategic and not say yes to everything. You know, because when we leave the game, it's like we feel like we have to say yes to everything to prove to everybody that I'm so much more than a football player. Yeah. Right. Um, but, but then I, I figured out that that was detrimental. Um, and I had to be a little bit more selective.